Welcome to my Web Links Masterclass video. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, great. Somebody else is going to show us how to add a favorite into our browser. Duh. We already know how to do that. No, this is not about how to do that. This goes multiple steps beyond those basics. The typical questions that I often get is, how do you create a shortcut to your favorite website? How do you link that on your taskbar and in your start menu? How do you get a website to open in a specific browser? Let's begin first by checking what your default browser is. Click on Start, Settings, Apps, Default Apps. Browse down until you see Web Browser in this list. When you click on the browser that's currently selected, you have an option here to change it to whichever browser you want, such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, uh, Mozilla Firefox, whatever suits your fancy. In this case, I'm leaving mine as Firefox because that's what I want as my default browser. Now that we have our default browser set, we want to open it up in a windowed mode. Windowed mode so that we can see the desktop and the browser at the same time because we're going to be creating shortcuts on our desktop. In this case, my first shortcut I'm going to create is to DuckDuckGo. If you look in your address bar at the top here, type whatever website you want to create a shortcut for. Here we have a padlock, which means that it's a HTTPS certified website. Right, left click on that padlock and hold down your left mouse button. Drag it to your desktop, release the button, and there you go. You now have a shortcut created to that particular website. You can right click on it, go into properties, and under general here, you can change it to a more user friendly name. In this case, DuckDuckGo. That's option number one to create a shortcut on your desktop to your favorite website. Option number two, just right click on your desktop somewhere, go new, shortcut, and in the shortcut field here, we'll type say www. Uh, just as an example, let's do, use my website, pccare.ca. Alrighty. So you can see the icon of this premier computer care is actually set in Mozilla Firefox because that's our default browser. If we go back into our settings and we change our default browser to Google Chrome, you'll see that shortcut will change appropriately because that's going to open up in your default browser. Now, to me, I don't like that option, personally speaking. So there is an option. If you open up that particular website, at the end, just add a forward slash and type in favicon.ico. Most websites should have a 64 by 64 image file on the root of the website. That's the favicon file. You can right click on this, save image as. And what I've done in this case is I've gone into my pictures folder and I've created a subfolder called web icons. In here, you can save the icons to all the websites that you want to create shortcuts for. Don't name it favicon.ico because it'll get really confusing after a while. Just name it according to what the website actually is, in this case, PC Care. So we're going to save the icon. Now what you want to do is right click on the shortcut you have on your desktop, go into properties, change icon, click on browse, and browse to your pictures folder, web icons, and there's your favicon file. Same thing with this DuckDuckGo one, where I click on it, change icon, browse, and we'll put the DuckDuckGo one to make it more user friendly. So as you can see, both of these, if you right click on them, there is no option in here to pin to start or pin to taskbar. Next option to try and get around that. Click on your start menu, find your web browsers, right click on your web browser, go more and open file location. Here you can see we have the Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox shortcuts. Those are all in my start menu. This is what we want to get. Right click on the browser that you want, select properties, and in the target field here is the actual application that it launches. So we're going to copy this, and on the desktop, we're going to create right click, new, shortcut. We're going to paste the entire shortcut in there, including the quotation marks. Hit a space at the end, and in this case, we want to open up google.ca because we're going to open up in Google Chrome. And we'll call it the shortcut name is whatever you want to call it. We don't have to change the icon in this case because it's already got the Google one. But you can once again, you can click on change icon and whichever icon you've downloaded. I've got the google.ca specific icon. And there we go. Now if I click on this particular icon here, 
you'll notice it opens up in Google Chrome. If I click on that one, it opens up in Mozilla Firefox because that's my default browser. So let's close these down. And we'll do the same thing for Microsoft Edge. If you have a look at the properties again, right click it, copy the entire entry in the target field. On your desktop, we'll create a new shortcut. And we'll go to, let's say, www.microsoft.com. As you can see, by default, it's got the Microsoft icon or the Microsoft Edge icon. We can right click on this because I've already saved the favicon file from my website. I can change the icon, browse, and there's the Microsoft icon that I have. Here's something else. If the website that you're going to, let's open up Microsoft Edge. Here's the web. Let's go to www.pcmag.com. And we're going to look for the favicon file. Now, I know PC Mag does not put its favicon file in the root of their directory, and some sites don't. So how do you get around that? Well, fortunately, DuckDuckGo was very kind, and they have given us a website that you can type in. I'll put this in the description field below so that you can have it. At the end, it's got site name.ico. Re replace the site name with whatever site you're going to. In this case, we'll just put pcmag.com, but do keep the .ico at the end. That part is important. There we can see DuckDuckGo automatically found the favicon file for us. You could go back and right click on the site and you can view the page source and you can go through this and find the file, which I've done on multiple sites before, but that gets really convoluted. So this other way is way easier. You, now you can right click on this, save your image, and again, use your web icons folder and PC Mag. There we go. We have saved it. Right click, properties, change icon, browse. And there we have the icon set property. There's another option in Microsoft Edge. If you click on the three dots at the top here when you're on your particular website that you want to go to. So let's just say we're at, um, let's for example, just say bing.com. Click on these three dots. Go down to more tools. Here you can see you have a pin to taskbar and pin to start. So if you pin to taskbar, it gives you the option to name it appropriately, which you can. And we'll also choose more tools, pin to start. Now have a look at what this does. Microsoft saves the icon properly. If we resize this to a small icon, there we have Bing, and we can go to the site, no problem. Google also has that option. So in Google, let's go for www.youtube.com. Alrighty, in here, same thing. Click on the three dots at the top, go into more tools, create a shortcut. Now, in this particular option, name it what you want, but do not select the open as window unless you want to open it without the toolbar at the top, without any of your menu options or anything like that, because it will just open it as a window. We'll create that, and by default, Google Chrome automatically puts it on the desktop with the right icon attached. If we right-click on this, pin to start, there we go. We've got the icon selected there. Sometimes this icon will not appear with that particular icon. Right-click on this one, and we'll pin that one to start. There, refresh. There we go. So as you can see, some of your shortcuts, the icon of pins in the start menu, Microsoft automatically sets that back as the browser default, which is really infuriating. So typically speaking, I don't use this area of the start menu. I'll use this area, which we'll get into in just one moment. Also, one thing to note, when you use these shortcuts, you'll notice at the bottom, I've got a shortcut to Firefox, Chrome, and Edge. Whichever shortcut you click on, it would automatically open in that particular browser. And if you have shortcuts down here, if we pin this to the taskbar and we open it, you'll notice it doesn't open with this shortcut. It actually goes back to your browser and opens under your browser. So just keep that in mind. 
already. Let's close down all these browsers. How do we get around this option of this from hap happening? Let me just unpin these as well. I have another option for you. Browse your computer, go into your C drive, users, whatever your name is, your profile, click on it. And in mine, I don't have hidden files selected. So I can see the app data folder, which is where we want to go. So put a backslash at the top here, type in app data, roaming, Microsoft, browse down to Windows, start menu, programs. And what you want to do in here is create a new folder. You can call it, for example, web links. However, don't just don't call it web links because what's going to happen is when you click on the start, you're going to have to scroll down all the way to the bottom every time. That gets really frustrating having to do that. It wastes time. So I always put a one dash in front of it. That way, it'll put it right at the top of the list. All the shortcuts on your desktop that you've just created, highlight them, drag them over, and move them into this web links folder. So as you can see, the one, two, three, four, five that we've created are now in the web links folder. Click on Start. There you can see the web links is at the top, and there are our websites that we've created. So if we click on them, you can see it will open up in the appropriate browser. But that doesn't answer the question of how to put the links on the taskbar at the bottom. So I have another solution for you. Right-click on the blank spot of the taskbar. Under Toolbars, go New Toolbar. And in here, we're going to go back to the folder where we just were. So the user backslash app data, backslash roaming, Microsoft, Windows, start menu. Once we're in the start menu, programs, highlight the web links folder so it shows up at the bottom here in the folder bar. Click on select folder. We're going to right click on the taskbar and remove this check that says lock the taskbar so that we can resize it. As you can see, I have all my web links now showing up in the bottom on the taskbar. I'm going to drag this all the way over to the left-hand side here. But we don't end it there. Right-click on this, go Show Text, deselect it. Right-click it again, Show Title, deselect it. Right-click on the task, or sorry, if you drag this now all the way back over, then we right click and we lock the taskbar. Here's all of our web shortcuts now in the bottom of the taskbar. Now, of course, you can put these on the right over here. You can put them in the middle. You can pretty much resize them to wherever you want it to go. So here are other links. So keep in mind, again, when you click on these links, whichever link you click on is going to open the relevant browser link that you have at the bottom. It won't show this as being open, which is why you can keep this particular toolbar nice and small and compressed on the left-hand side of your taskbar. Hopefully, this has helped you do an alternate way to creating all these shortcuts. If it did help you, by all means, please give us that thumbs up at the bottom. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And do stay tuned because I have a lot more videos like this coming down the pipes. Have a great day, folks. Catch you later.